What's good, people? It's your boy Roddy Too Good back with another episode of the Pilot Show. <laughs> back with another AO. So, <sighs> when the heat don't work, they start telling. But, well, I, I can't say they told lies. But I could just say, like, well, people was just gaslighting. They just trying anything. People just mad for no reason. Over here, r- running amok. They just, they just doing different stuff, bro. I'm just telling you right now. But, um, so, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us it has been submitted to the Grammys, and we have, let's just say what it is. We got these Drake fans complaining about it. These Drake fans is coming out the Woodworths. They basically saying is, oh, I thought this dude was anti-industry. I thought this dude was anti-establishment you wanted the party to die and this is what i'll be saying to these people bro y'all y'all rip y'all ramble and y'all miss the entire point never did he ever say he was anti industry never did he said he was anti-establishment and anything like that he's anti bs being pushed that's the what it is you're you're anti the whole stereotypes being pushed that's not anti-industry you're anti just uh like the part like you know what i'm saying drugs gun violence this that and the third uh sexual high sexuality and all this little freaking things and stuff like that that's what it is like yo y'all trying to make him be a bad guy for submitting his song to the grammys like yo it's just it's just crazy how how things work bro like now anything see that's the thing anything kendrick does now He's going to get backlash for it. I promise you. He's going to get backlash and people just going to look at him crazy. So now people saying he's a hypocrite because, oh, you're supposed to be this righteous stand up, but you submitting to the Grammys. Listen, fam, my song is the biggest song of this year. It has to go in the Grammys. And not only that, somebody broke it down for him. If you're signed to a label, yes, you have to sign off on it. But these people at the labels, the executive, the figureheads, that they're, they're the ones that submitting your song to the thing. First of all, because they understand the Grammys and all that stuff, that's that helps them too. Like, bro, we have a Grammy award winner, we have a Grammy nominator. So it's like okay, that works in their favor as well. Same as same to do with the artists as well too, but people just have to <laughs> understand, bro. Like this is just music business, but like I said, like he never said he was anti-establishment. Bro said he's anti BS. Like he's anti the whole, like the whole is like you know what I'm saying. How can I word this right? Like he's anti stigmas in hip hop now. Like the the party stigma, the drug stigma, the gang violence stigma. He's he's basically like showing y'all, hey fam, it's more to this art of hip-hop than just partying and bullshitting and drugs and all that stuff like you know what i'm saying and when it comes into drake's category it's like he's anti vulturous people in the hip-hop culture so that's what i could say he is like yo because in like drake it never really was industry with him it was just him basically saying like yo fam you're this is not the life you're living like you know what i'm saying like this like you were, you came up a good kid. Now you was rapping. You came up singing too. You were singing some nice songs and nice tunes. But then, like over the time, you really turned into like, damn near this mafia boss to where you talking to people crazy and like talking. You gonna get them hit up and all that stuff. Like so, I think that's what the party is. The party is just this the nonsense that goes on in hip hop with the drugs, with all that other stuff. So. I see people trying, man. They they always going to try, man. That They just don't want him to win a Grammy for this, bro. Because it's just going to put another dagger into uh, Drake's whole thing, bro. But, yo, man, that's what it is, man. You made your bed, you got to lay in it, bro. That's what it is. And um, say, this, is, this is the same thing that they tried to do with the whole Lil Wayne thing. Like, out of nowhere, everybody wanted Lil Wayne to perform at the Super Bowl, even though it was sad, even though it was September. And if Lil Wayne never heard nothing in September, in the month of September about the Super Bowl, guarantee he wasn't going to get it. I guarantee you Kendrick probably knew mad long ago he was doing the Super Bowl. I don't, I, I don't see them announcing it on 
September, and that like that's the first time he heard about it. So it is what it is. Like Kendrick, he is. This just seems like this is what's going to happen now. Is that like supposedly Drake fans? They're just going to come in outrage at everything he does. They're just going to try to poke holes in everything Kendrick does. And like, come on, bro. Like, yo, stop the hate. Like, yo, like yo, people just got to be real, man. Be real. Like, yo, your man lost. It's okay. It's okay, and I know, like, this is probably about to be a brand new talking point for so many uh, YouTube pages and personalities, because now people are going to say, oh, he's a hypocrite, he's that, this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, man, Kendrick, I know him, I know Kendrick, man. Well, not know him personally, but I've been a fan, and I've known his ways. Like, he's not going to respond. He don't let this, he don't let the, uh, see, that's the thing, bro. That's the thing about Kendrick. He don't really let the outside noise really interrupt the things that he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And that th- that's the thing, like, I feel like Drake has, it always has done that. Like, you know, you see him being like, yo, people, like, see, that's the thing about this shit. Like, nigga, is you got grown men, like, proud of being petty. Like, being petty is uh, some bitch shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not to say, like, females, but I'm saying, like, it's just some, like, because men could be bitches, too. And that's what I'm saying. Being petty and that's some bitch shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, yo, just move on, bro. Just move in your thing. Like, if you really the top of the nigga, why would you step off your throne to approach Swan? Like, and that's what all this shit is, is Swan. Like, nigga, like, if you really at the top of the game, never punch down, bro. That's what, that's what it is. Like, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they don't really talk about nothing. They motherfuckers be like, all right, okay, that's how you feel, okay, cool. You could say, cause yo, people really have that belief of, oh, if a lie, a lie told enough could be come the truth. <laughs> a lie could never be the truth. I promise you, like two times t- two plus two has always been four, bro. <laughs> like that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like two plus two has always been four. A lie can never be the truth, bro. So. This is what's going on, man. I promise you the next thing next thing he do when he actually wins the Grammy, people going to come out and say some craziness about that. But uh, this is the atmosphere. This is what I guess this is going to go along until who knows, bro, how long this going to thing like uh, Drake fans attacking Kendrick, calling them all types of but like we just got to go on man, move on, man. Drake, summer vibes. They didn't really come, so we got we gonna move over. We gonna move on and see if we get some fall vibes, and after fall we are gonna see if we get some winter vibes because you definitely said summer vibes and summer vibes never really came like that. So we just gotta see, man. We just gotta see. But um, yeah, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the bell, join the family, come subscribe, join the, join the gods. All right, peace out. <laughs>